Hi, welcome to another DIY project on Martin Roberts Property Tip Mix. Make sure that you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and tell your friends if you've enjoyed it. And I'm just trying to inspire you that DIY really doesn't have to be scary, okay? It is something which most people can do. And just because it's not going to turn out perfect, and it might turn out perfect, but who cares? And when I'm doing these projects, I just want you to know, I haven't tried them out beforehand. So this hasn't had a whole host of researchers checking out whether or not things work, because I want to go through the experience that you would go through. So I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to have to adapt as I go along. I'm going to completely mess it up. You might not get to see those videos. No, you will. You will. You will. I think it's really important because it's all about adaptation, okay? First of all, what am I going to make? Well, there are three members of this household who have been pestering me for a new thing. Crumpet, come here. Come on, come here, come here. Yes, this uh, is Crumpet. Crumpet's a Labradoodle. Hey, hi. Hello. So, basically, we've got three Labradoodles. Uh, this is Rollo. Yes. He's a Labradoodle as well. All from the same mum, are you? Hey, yes. So, they need a new bed. Don't you? You need a new bed? Yes. So, we're going to make them a new bed. I come up with this idea for like a sh uh, sort of squarey thing. And, uh, well, I'll give you an idea of what I'm going to do. Square frame. And then I bought this on the internet. So this is one thing which I haven't got lying around, which I'm going to use. This is webbing. It's actually furniture webbing. Very strong. And um, it's absolutely designed for what I need, which is to create some kind of a base, which we can then put maybe um, a blanket or something like that on. But it's really strong. So what the basic gist of the project is, to create a frame out of bits of wood I've got lying around. Remember the concept of this is trying to use stuff that you've got lying around. Some old bits of wood here. We've got this post, it's a fence post, yeah, very heavy. So we're gonna use that for some legs. We're gonna create a simple frame and we're gonna put the webbing around it, piece of cake. As always, you need safety equipment, glasses, gloves, and our face mask, really important. In terms of cutting this wood, I'm actually gonna cheat and I'm gonna use a um, bench uh, saw that I've got already set up just for time. But you could easily cut this with a circular <laughs> saw or uh, an electric hand saw like this, or of course, Good old fashioned hand saw. Um, stealth way to get fit as well, because if you're doing this backwards and forwards, you know, it definitely builds up a few muscles. We're also going to need, as usual, um, a electric screwdriver, a drill with a wood drill in it to drill your pilot hole. A uh, sander to sand things off, some sanding things. And the only special thing I've got here uh, is this. This is a staple gun. You've probably seen these. You squeeze the trigger there and it fires a staple uh, out of here. We're gonna use that for attaching the webbing. So that's a, a really important part of thing. They're very easy to get online. Um, so it's a medium uh, duty or a heavy duty uh, staple gun. They're not expensive. I obviously need my screws uh, and my, my drills. So um, that's the basic gist of it. Okay, so let's get going then. The first thing to do is to clear the table. As a basic design, we're gonna just have a big square. Now my thoughts are, it's a lot easier for a small dog to use a big bed than a big dog to use a small bed. So let's make this basically a square. This is the great thing about doing this kind of stuff is it doesn't matter, does it? Well, I don't know, how big do you want it to be? Who cares? I'm gonna cut this in half, okay? This is gonna create my edges of the bed. Now that is gonna be quite big. Is that too big? It's gonna be quite, gonna be quite heavy. I think it needs to be a little bit smaller than that. Rollo, trumpet, come here, come here. This is a good dog, come on. <laughs> right then, how big are you then? Okay, there we go. Okay, make it that big then. 32 inches, is that how big you are? It is actually. I mean, I know they're a bit smaller when they're curled up. But oh my goodness, would you look at that? Who'd have thought? Right, so, notice what I did there. If you haven't got a 90 degree set square, the angle between that there and that there is 90 degrees. So if you put that up against an edge, you get your 90 degrees. So let's cut these off. One. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this piece of wood to make two edges. How wide is it? It is just under 20 centimeters. So just under 10 centimeters, just under 10 centimeters. Another one in the middle, just be safe. Okay, and then again, measure twice, cut once, as the old saying goes. That's just 10, 10, that'll do. What I love about this kind of construction 
you don't have to be too precise. That suits me down to a T. So just under 10, just under 10. My plan is to use this as the corners and the legs at the same time. So the more you can think about multi-using things in when you're constructing stuff, the better. So I could create the frame and then put a leg on it, but why not make the leg an intrinsic part of the whole thing? That's my plan. Bear in mind we're going to be 10 centimetres. I think this is 10 centimetres, that width there. So I think this wants to be about 10 centimetres foot, if you like, or possibly less. Well, it's going to be a feature. The dogs have got to get into it. <laughs> the dog went up the side. It's not going to work, is it? Um, OK, you get the calculation there. 10 centimetres for the piece of wood we put on it and 8 centimetres for the foot. So that means that's 18. So now that's 18. I'm going to mark that. And I need four of these little feet. 18 centimetres again. 18 centimetres again. We'll do one more. Right. I could cut this now with the circular saw or this saw if I wanted to. So, uh, uh, uh. Um, but I have got, as I said, a circular saw. So I'm going to use that. I'll be back. Right, there you go, job done. So what have we got? We've got four legs, like that. And we've got our four bits now of stuff which is gonna go like that. And you can see this is gonna be a fairly simple construction because of the way I have made it. Because these things are literally gonna act, the dogs are getting desperate, uh, act as the thing which goes in the corner. So that's what it's gonna look like. But I have figured out that there's probably a design error here. I know, I'll be, I'm working on it, guys. Because I've got a feeling, let's just lay it out. I'm not sure that's going to work. Let's just lay it out. Uh, no. Oh, yes. No. Doesn't matter. Who cares? You get there in the end. Anyway, whatever. It'll do as an awesome if the dogs don't like it. That's what I reckon. Uh, but you get the kind of gist. So I've just tried it, and that sort of works. Great. Fantastic view. OK, fine. So now what we need to do is just clean up these bits of wood. So this is going to be a bit boring, so you might want to speed this up. <laughs> boring job but it's got to be done because now we've got nice clean wood so back to where we were two lengths the same so which ones are the same it's gonna go like that that's gonna go like that and our four things now this this kind of construction is where to go because um I can screw in basically I don't, I, normally you'd be looking at brackets and all sorts of horrible things to hold this together I can simply screw in to here so that is what I'm going to do. I am, however, going to drill a few pilot holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just temporarily screw this together like that just to create this frame and then we will attach the webbing and then we'll put the feet on afterwards. I think that's going to be the neater way to go. I've told you before about the importance of pilot holes. When, you, when you're on the edge of wood, um, you must always drill a pilot hole. It's just a disaster waiting to happen if you don't. Okay, now we're going to use really long screws because I'm screwing it to an end. This is the end of the wood, obviously it's called end grain, and it doesn't have as much bite when you're putting a screw in that way as if you were screwing into the edge grain of the wood. So what I want to make sure I use is a really long, quite fat screw so you can see that they will stretch through there. Last one. Right, so we've now got our frame. Okay, so we are now going to attach the webbing. So that's going to be the seaty bit. That's the bit is going to be the bit that the dogs sleep on. Huge. We'll get two dogs on there. Well, whatever. Big roll of webbing, and I could just attach it there. I could attach it there. Um, I've got a feeling the neatest thing, its strongest thing actually, is going to be to attach it underneath like that. So, um, inside, neatest, probably. Probably there, it's going to be the neatest. So, as long as I can actually get in physically with a staple gun, let's just do it. I haven't got a clue how this is going to work. So, I'm going to stick a couple of staples in here. Okay. This is going to be a really boring job, I can just tell it. Phew. Right. So what the idea is, is we're going to create like a lattice work. How do I 
torsion it. Hmm, I don't know. I need to cut that off where I need it. Ugh, scissors. Scissors have disappeared. Where's the scissors gone? I haven't got a clue about this bit. I've never used this stuff before in my life. Anyway, whatever. You were working with me together on this one. Shush. I wonder if... All I can do is pull it tight, I guess. So I'm sort of lining it up like that. Come on, see if that works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Go up to plan B. Buy a dog bed from the shop. Okay. I'm sure it'll turn out all right in the end. Now I'm going to leave what I think is a reasonable gap because bear in mind we're going to weave this whole thing together. So I think a fingers gap. That'll do. I guess it would feel quite nice if you were a dog and you kind of swooch into it a bit. So I'm going to pretend that if this is a bit saggy, I've designed it that way. Now I have to say, I know a lot about DIY, but I know very little about making furniture. Now, just to say, I'm looking slightly worried about how much that I think I got 10 meters of this stuff. But this is almost a meter. <laughs> Please let me have enough. Maybe this is, because how am I going to paint this now? Maybe I'm not going to paint it. Okay, I've just decided I'm not going to paint it. I'm going to leave it as it is. And in fact, it's going to be a design thing. The stripiness of the webbing is going to be a design feature. See? Adapt as you go along. If I, just, if I end up being six inches short on the webbing, it's going to be really annoying. my rapidly dwindling webbing supplies ugh, you kind of get the idea so in theory well the dogs would fall through that wouldn't they so this is why we need to do webbing so what I'm gonna do because I'm lacking in webbing here I'm gonna do the essential ones and then just see how much I've got left so I'm adapting what we need to do here is weave so up down up down up down up, down, up, down, wallop. I reckon even the smallest of dogs couldn't fall through that. But we are going to try and use what we've got left. I've sort of woven it one way, so on these ones, I need to weave it a different way. So, basically, where we went down, we need to go up, and where we went up, we need to go down. And there we have it. And actually, that's not too bad. You want a bit of a give, don't you? So I think the dogs will, will be absolutely fine with that. Mm -hmm. So to finish the project off, all we need to do is go back to our feet, put them in the corners, and we are going to screw those in place. Now, theoretically, it's going to be flat. I can't guarantee it. OK. So, um, screws wise, through there and into there, those in place. Okay, the moment of truth. One dog bed. I think the pooches are like that. Well, there's one way of proving it. We'll get a blanket on that and we'll try them on it later. But there you go. It's just another, idea, another example, rather, of a DIY project that with a little bit of effort and just a bit of imagination, you can create something which is practical, which is useful, and most importantly, make, keeps the dogs happy. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to Martin Roberts Property Tip Bits. And here comes a dog. Crumpet, come here, come here, come here. And yes, tell your friends if you enjoy this video. Crumpet, you want to try the bed? Do you want to try the bed? Come on then. Proof of the pudding. There you go. What do you think? I think that's a wolf of approval. <laughs> See you next time.